Pacar MX-13, the European engine that's destroying American diesels, the shocking truth. What if I told you that the engine powering half of America's newest trucks isn't even American? What if I revealed that this European invader has a secret so shocking that it's making Cummins and Detroit diesel engineers lose sleep at night? And what if the biggest plot twist is that this engine was designed to fail, but in the smartest way possible? I'm about to expose the truth about the Pacar MX-13, an engine that's either the future of trucking or the biggest scam ever pulled on American drivers. By the end of this video, you'll know why some truckers call it the golden engine, while others won't touch it with a 10-foot trailer hitch. Stick around because the secret I'm about to reveal at the 8-minute mark will change how you think about truck engines forever, and trust me, you won't see this coming. The European Invasion Let's rewind to 2010. American trucking was dominated by three names, Cummins, Caterpillar, and Detroit Diesel. Then, out of nowhere, Packar, the company behind Peterbilt and Kenworth, dropped a bombshell announcement that sent shockwaves through the industry. They weren't just importing any European engine, they were bringing over the DAFMX-13, rebranding it as the Packar MX-13, and claiming it would revolutionize American trucking. The audacity was incredible. Here's a company telling American truckers that Europeans had figured out something we couldn't. But here's where it gets interesting, and this is something most people don't know. Packer didn't just slap their name on a European engine and call it a day. They spent over $400 million adapting this engine specifically for American roads, American fuel, and American driving conditions. This wasn't just badge engineering, this was a complete reinvention. The timing was perfect, or maybe perfectly planned. Caterpillar had just announced they were leaving the on-highway truck market. Detroit Diesel was struggling with their DD-15 reliability issues. Cummins was dealing with ISX problems. The market was wide open for a new player, and P-A-C-C-A-R saw their chance. The Engineering Masterpiece now, let's talk about what makes this engine special, because the numbers are absolutely insane. The MX-13 is a 12.9-liter inline-six that produces up to 510 horsepower and 1,850 pound-feet of torque. But here's the kicker. It weighs 400 pounds less than comparable American engines while producing more power. How is that even possible? The answer lies in European engineering philosophy. While American manufacturers were building engines like tanks, heavy, overbuilt, designed to last forever, Europeans were building engines like Formula One cars, lightweight, efficient, designed for performance. The MX-13 uses a compacted graphite iron block instead of traditional cast iron. This material is 75% stronger than cast iron, but significantly lighter. The cylinder head is made from aluminum, saving even more weight. But here's the genius part. They didn't sacrifice durability for weight savings. The fuel system is where this engine really shines. It uses a common rail injection system with pressures up to 2,500 bar. That's over 36,000 PSI. For comparison, most American engines run around 1,800 bar. This extreme pressure allows for multiple injection events per combustion cycle, resulting in cleaner combustion, better fuel economy, and more power the reliability revolution. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Remember how I said this engine was designed to fail? Well, that's not exactly what I meant. And this is where European engineering gets really smart. Traditional American engines were designed with the philosophy of build it once, run it forever. Mechanics would rebuild these engines multiple times, sometimes getting two to three million miles out of a single block. The MX-13 was designed with a completely different philosophy. Build it perfect, run it efficiently, replace it when it's done. Packer engineered this engine for a specific life cycle, typically around 800,000 to 1 million miles of optimal performance. After that, instead of rebuilding, they want you to replace it with a new engine. This might sound like planned obsolescence, but here's the twist. The total cost of ownership is actually lower. Think about it. No major overhauls, no downtime for rebuilds, no guessing about internal wear. You run the engine for its design life, then swap in a new one. The predictability is incredible for fleet managers who need to budget maintenance costs. But individual owner-operators, 
That's where opinions get heated. Some love the reliability and fuel economy. Others hate the idea of throwing away an engine that might have more life left in it. The fuel economy game changer. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, fuel economy. And this is where the MX-13 absolutely destroys the competition. We're talking about real-world fuel economy improvements of 3 to 7% over comparable American engines. That might not sound like much, but let me put this in perspective. A typical over-the-road truck burns about 20,000 gallons of fuel per year. A 5% improvement saves 1,000 gallons annually. At $4 per gallon, that's $4,000 in savings every single year. Over the life of the truck, we're talking about $30,000 to $40,000 in fuel savings. But how does it achieve this? The secret is in the combustion efficiency. That ultra-high pressure fuel injection system creates a more complete burn. The lightweight construction means less energy wasted moving the engine's own mass. The advanced turbocharging system with variable geometry provides optimal boost at all RPM ranges. The after-treatment system is also incredibly efficient. While American engines were struggling with DPF regeneration cycles that killed fuel economy, Packer engineered their after-treatment to work seamlessly with the engine's combustion characteristics. The dark side, what they don't tell you. But now we need to talk about the problems because no engine is perfect and the MX-13 has some issues that Packer definitely doesn't advertise. First, the complexity. This engine has more sensors, more electronic controls, and more sophisticated systems than any American engine. When something goes wrong, diagnosis requires specialized equipment and training that many independent shops don't have. You're often forced to go to a PACCAR dealer, and that means higher repair costs. Second, the parts availability. While Pacar has improved this over the years, finding parts for an MX-13 in rural America can still be challenging. American engines have parts available at every truck stop. European engines, not so much. Third, and this is the big one, the learning curve for technicians. Many American mechanics grew up working on Caterpillar, Cummins, and Detroit engines. The MX-13 operates differently, uses different diagnostic procedures, and requires different tools. This has created a shortage of qualified technicians, which drives up labor costs. But here's the shocking truth I promised you at the beginning, and this is something Pocker will never admit publicly. The shocking secret revealed. The MX-13 wasn't just designed to compete with American engines, it was designed to make them obsolete, and it's working. Here's what's really happening. Pocker has been quietly collecting data from every MX-13 engine through their connected vehicle systems. They know exactly how these engines perform in real-world conditions, what components fail first, and how to optimize performance for specific applications. This data advantage is massive. While American manufacturers are still designing engines based on traditional testing methods, Packer is using real-world big data to continuously improve their engines. Every software update makes the engine smarter, more efficient, and more reliable. But here's the kicker. They're not just collecting data for engine improvements. They're using this information to predict when components will fail and proactively schedule maintenance. This predictive maintenance capability is years ahead of what American manufacturers offer. The result? Fleet managers are reporting 15 to 20 percent reductions in unscheduled downtime compared to American engines. That's not just about the engine reliability. That's about knowing exactly when maintenance is needed before problems occur. The future of American trucking. So, what does this mean for the future of American trucking? The numbers don't lie. Packer's market share has grown from zero to over 30 percent in just 15 years. Major fleets are standardizing on MX-13 engines. Even owner-operators who swore they'd never buy a foreign engine are switching over. But the real disruption is just beginning. Packer is already testing hydrogen fuel cell versions of the MX platform. They're developing fully electric variants. While American manufacturers are still trying to perfect diesel technology, Packer is preparing for the post-diesel future. The irony is incredible. 
The country that invented modern trucking is being out-innovated by European engineers who understood that the future wasn't about building bigger, stronger engines. It was about building smarter, more efficient ones. For owner-operators, the decision is getting harder every year. Do you stick with familiar American iron that you can fix anywhere but burns more fuel? Or do you embrace European efficiency with higher repair costs but better fuel economy? For fleets, the math is already clear. The total cost of ownership favors the MX-13, especially when you factor in fuel savings, reduced downtime, and predictive maintenance capabilities. All right, Thunder Truck family, here's what I want you to do right now. If you're currently running an MX-13, drop a comment below with your honest experience, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Don't hold back. If you're thinking about buying a truck with an MX-13, tell us what's holding you back or what's pushing you toward it. Hit that subscribe button if you want more deep dives into the engines that are shaping the future of trucking. Ring that notification bell so you never miss our latest content. And if this video helped you understand the MX-13 better, smash that like button. It really helps us reach more truckers who need this information. The trucking industry is changing faster than ever, and the engines powering our rigs are at the center of that change. The MX-13 isn't just an engine. It's a glimpse into the future of transportation. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't ignore it. This European invader has permanently changed American trucking, and there's no going back. This is Thunder Truck, and I'll see you on the road.